I'm at a weekend a cappella singing event for female voices. Think speed dating for ensembles. This is my first time at this event, and I am enjoying the cacophony of music during the day. I'm enjoying the free whiskey in the social rooms at night. <laughs> I find myself in one of these social rooms with a bunch of strangers. No one in that room is stranger than me. There's some idle chatter going on. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been singing? I listen in on a conversation happening near me. I ask my conversation partner what she does, as in I'd like to know what line of work she's in. And the woman rattles off a list of roles she has in this singing organization, one after another. I don't think that's what Mo is after. It's not. So she tries again. And to be a little disruptive and see if she's paying attention, I say, what do you do for a living? I mean, like, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Katie's the only person in the room who laughs. With one quick and snarky word, Mo adds color to a gray conversation, reflecting my own weird sense of humor. I see someone who thinks like I think, will likely laugh at my jokes, and might be the friend I need to help me navigate my new world. My youngest homeschooled son just graduated from high school. My life as a mom is looking totally different. I don't even know what to wear. I just retired from the Air Force, and for the past 30 years, the military has dictated where to live, how to dress, what to say, even how to say it. I hardly controlled my own schedule. I've been held hostage by lesson plans and academic assignments, numb from struggling to live up to the expectations and requirements of others. My unceremonious retirement left me feeling unappreciated and undervalued, just the product of a 30-year military assembly line. For three quarters of my life, my daily routine has been repetitive. The turmoil of humdrum sameness impacts my sanity and unique contribution to the world. With the disruption of graduation, daily decisions are no longer externally dictated. That means routine choices are mine to set, decide, and fulfill. I can make my own decisions as a military retiree in a different phase of life. My entire world has been Disrupted. disrupted. The comfortable cadence of our lives is disrupted by retirement and graduation, sounding the alarm of a Groundhog Day trajectory. The majority of society prefers to travel in the comfort of familiarity because it protects us from the fear and the anxiety of the unknown. But from the cockpit of complacency, we risk spending days on autopilot. This is a universal issue, binding people from all walks of life, regardless of position or profession. As repetitive tasks accumulate, the ruts of our patterns become more depressed, making it harder to see beyond the edges, limiting our ability to move forward. Apathy sneaks in, and we find ourselves in our proverbial or very real cubicles, unaware if it's Tuesday or Wednesday? I thought it was Thursday. <laughs> One stagnant day bleeds into the next, and burnout moves levels of professional success further away. Predictable routines deplete our social circles, depriving us of meaningful connections. Whether it's your personal life or your professional life, no one is immune from the mundane. In fact, we are facing a crisis of monotony, and it is our responsibility to disrupt it. We can disrupt a conversation with a an prostitute. unexpected word. <laughs> Disruptions can be opportunities for personal growth, unexpected connections, and a renewed sense of purpose. To disrupt monotony, we have to recognize monotony. I'm in the cockpit of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, an Air Force strategic transport aircraft. I'm in the driver's seat of my Nissan Rogue, a compact and versatile crossover SUV. The runway for the final airport of the day is stretched out in front of me. The GPS's black and white checkered flag signals the last stretch of a long road trip. Gear is down, flaps are set, radio calls made, airspeed under control. Cruise control engaged, seat heater on, sun visor set, favorite song playing. Soothing white noise from four turbofan engines. A rhythmic lullaby of tires rolling on the asphalt.
micro-sleeps. Those long blinks reserved for tedious staff meetings interrupt the process of landing a 400,000-pound aircraft. Heavy eyelids interrupt the process of operating a 4,000-pound car, just like 75% of other pilots report and over 40% of drivers admit. Monotony in the car or the cockpit can lead to being literally asleep at the wheel or the yoke. Just like daily monotonous conditions lull us into being figuratively asleep at our lives. Monotony wears many masks. It can be brushing your teeth with the same hand every time. Doing the same tasks each day after you wake up. Taking the same route to and from work, the grocery store, or your favorite restaurant. Always wearing your watch on the same wrist. Always wearing your watch face on the same side of your wrist. <laughs> Doing the same things, meeting the same people, going to the same places, day in and day out. Doing the same things, meeting the same people, going to the same places, day in and day out. Stuck in one place, every day the same, and nothing you do matters. These repetitive routines permeate our lives, leading to strain, stagnation, depression, feelings of meaninglessness, and lack of purpose. Plus, there's been no documented statement by anyone on their deathbed saying, I wish I had led a more monotonous life. Now, some might say a little monotony never hurt anyone. Repetitive tasks have been linked to burnout, mental strain, chronic fatigue, and a whole host of painful musculoskeletal disorders. Speaking of pain, in a 2015 experiment, participants watched 60 minutes of a documentary. A few days later, they came back and they watched an 85-second clip from the documentary looped for an hour. For both sessions, participants could freely administer electrical shocks to themselves. What the researchers found was that participants shocked themselves 9.3 times more during those 85-second looped clips, demonstrating a need to disrupt monotony even if it involved a potentially painful electrical stimulation. Did you catch that? Participants shocked themselves to disrupt the monotonous condition. You know, as, 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 as interveners of this crisis, okay. we will be providing everyone with a taser so that no, you can- No, 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 we will not be providing tasers. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> How about false eyelashes? Could we use false eyelashes to intervene in this crisis? Yes, that's a much better choice. Mo and I are female barbershop quartet competitors. Annual competitions involve thousands of singers. On stage, in blinding lights, uncomfortable shoes, obscene amounts of makeup, false eyelashes, and sequins. Oh, so many sequins. <laughs> But once the hotel stays, airline flights, rental cars, and reverie of contests are over, I'm back to my day-to-day -day life routine. Chores, meals, shopping, mail. Oh, it's an envelope from the hotel that hosted our singing competition. Oh, it's a thank you for staying with us form letter and another piece of paper with two pair of false eyelashes stuck to it. Uh, right after we got off the competition stage and back into our hotel room, Katie and I peeled off our false eyelashes and stuck them onto the TV. We were in that post-contest, everything is funny stupor. The letter says housekeeping wanted to be sure we got our eyelashes back. Lashes that were destined for the trash. But the closer I look at this form letter, the more I realize it's not. The letter refers to the competition as an intergalactic competition. The sender's job title is assistant to the regional manager. And the M in the signature looks suspiciously identical to the M in Mo's signature. Yeah. I pulled the eyelashes from the TV, made and printed hotel stationery, and made sure Katie got the letter on April 1st. April Fool's Day is just another day for me, but this one brought unexpected joy and a much needed laugh because of the creativity employed by this one. Lashes during contest are routine. So is disposing of them. Mo saw them in a different light and disrupted my regularly scheduled life, bringing me surprise with false eyelashes. Used false eyelashes. Yes. You created a funny and oddly thoughtful gesture out of an otherwise routine object. Looking at an everyday object and seeing what else it could be opens our imagination to more possibilities. 
possibilities enabled when we choose to disrupt monotony. If Henry Ford hadn't disrupted the monotony of the automotive travel industry, we might still be taking horses to work. If two roommates in San Francisco hadn't rented out air mattresses as air, bed, and breakfast, we might not pay to stay in strangers' houses. And if Herb Kelleher hadn't set out to create the world's weirdest airline, we might not pay $20 for early bird check-in to get in cattle call A for boarding. The question is, what are you going to disrupt? Don't wait for milestone events like retirements or graduations. Every day holds opportunities to make small choices that can alter our course. Today, we challenge you to change one moment. From the comfort of your car or cockpit, find a new stop to disrupt the monotony of the journey. The next time you go from point A to point B, find a random stop along the way out alternate words to use in everyday conversations. The next time someone asks how you're doing, find a more creative response than fine. <laughs> And I can tell you, as a retired Air Force colonel, it's kind of fun to tell people you are a process pro everyday objects around you and dare to see them differently. You can even lash out and recycle something destined for the trash. It doesn't have to be a massive act. It can be something small, something tiny, something... We challenge you to do one thing differently today. We are facing a crisis of monotony. And it is the responsibility of each and every one of us to disrupt it. And we can. Because small choices create ripple effects of unforgettable experiences. And little ripples make big waves. Living in the rhythm of routine. There's more to life than what it seems. Making moments that are more than black and white. Now's the time to take a chance To leave your comfort zone and dance Breaking chains of the mundane can change your life Little ripples make big waves Dare to look and make a change What a difference it can make Little ripples every day a Moment's all it takes Disrupt your life with little ripples that you make Little ripples that you make. Thank, Thank you. you.